Hey everybody, today we are playing Sobek for the Guardian Gauntlet. Um, for the last episode, uh, I kind of took some input from, from, you know, from you guys for the Guardian Gauntlet, and we were, from now on, we're going to spin the wheel at the end of the episode for the next episode. So, uh, last episode was with, uh, who was it? Who was I playing? I actually can't remember who I was playing, but <laughs> I did win, and then, uh, we rolled for Sobek at the very end, and at the end of this episode, <laughs> we'll roll for uh, next episode. Sorry if that's a bit confusing, but it, it makes sense to me, especially since the gods in the thumbnail and everything, so it's it's kind of like clear who I'm playing. <laughs> Plus it gives uh, you know the god to look forward to for whoever I'll be playing next, which is nice. But we're against Neja, which hey, this is a pr another pretty good matchup. Uh, oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, last last game I was playing as Kabrakin against Humbats. That's right. And now we're playing Sobek versus Neja. It's pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> For some reason, it seems like uh, previous times when I've done the Guardian Gauntlet, I was I was a little bit cursed with some of the matchups, but it seems like we're pretty lucky this time around. I actually played a Sobek game on stream just uh, just yesterday. And won the game. Oh, you do be invading though. Nice. I get blue and he gets nothing. That's right, that's right, Neja. You may be Neja, but you still invaded me. Which, hey, I mean, it's the right strategy to do against Guardians, honestly. Ooh, if only I had my one, I could have tossed him to tower. I don't want him to take this. Oh, I was way too late on that. That's alright. He used my horn shard. And should be able to... Oh, he's super fast. Apply my anti-heal to him. Which is good. Now I'm not close enough. If I used my one first, that would have been good. But I was hoping I'd be in range for my two... To get the damage plus guarantee my one. By the way, that's okay. He's going for his blue. I don't really mind that. He can have it. Also, he went shell, so I gotta keep that in mind. Oh, look at his HP! <laughs> I, I wish I kinda wish I stopped his blue buff. Definitely should have. I my ult. If he tries to aggress, no, he has his ult. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Normally, I, I would maybe stay in a situation like that if he was still level four. So, nice thing about uh, Sobek is he has, of course, an escape. He has a good ult. For gods that don't have escape, like Neja. Now, Neja can get out of it with his three if he times it well, or his ult, but that's kind of costly to do. And my favorite part about Sobek is his three, because I get some healing and it has some anti heal, which makes him very good in a lot of matchups. Lot, lots of gods have sustain and duel, so an anti heal is super, super strong. That's fine by me. I mean, usually you want to save your ultimate on Neja. Oops, I gotta mute my phone. <laughs> usually I have it on silent when I'm recording or something. This guy's like full HP. I think he's going to try and sash me. What if I get him to sash me? No, he's, he doesn't care. Alright, never mind. He gets my blue. I'm going to have to rush uh, Divine, because even though I have Antail on my 3, he's healing a ton. And obviously I can't have my 3 applied on him all the time. So, that's probably the way to go. Oh, you know, I could go regrowth so back. Do I want to go regrowth Sobek though? It would only work whenever 
I'm hitting like enemy minions because I can't heal without minions. Also, he's kind of getting ahead of me fast because of all these buffs he's taken, which is super annoying. He's taking all these buffs on cooldown. It's actually really, really obnoxious. I'm going to make sure I take this blue from him. Or at least try to. Oh, he's going for the minis. Make him come towards here instead of that wave. If he misses that entire wave, he's going to miss out on the lead he's just gotten by taking all these buffs. <laughs> So that works with me. Now he just missed out on the entire wave. Good for me. Now of course if he pushes me out here, that's bad for me. Trying to group the him and the wave here. Use my all his threes down for a while. I think I should be fine to hold this entire all against him. Oh. He actually would have been able to dodge it if he didn't miss. Nice. Now I get his buff too. Good stuff, good stuff. Sorry if I'm a little bit out of it. I'm, I'm recording this just like right after I got off uh, done with work. Just a lot of coding today. He's 30 stacks on Transcendence. All right, all right. I'd say this is going very well so far. Get away from my minions. Oh god, he does a lot of damage. <laughs> Please tell me you got hit by the tower. Nope. At least you missed your all. I do have to beat that, otherwise I'm going to die to autos. Get you behind me. I can't believe I missed that. That's okay. Uh, the, the important thing is his ult's down. So I'm kind of down to stay and heal with my three and then get kill him with my ult. Kind of down for it. Is my blue already up? Seems like it. That's why he went over there. Ooh, I gave him that. That's unfortunate. Ahoy! His ult's also coming up pretty soon. So I gotta be a tiny bit careful. I don't know how soon, though. Kinda sucks I gave him that buff, and now he's gonna take uh, red. I have 900 health. Ooh. Wasn't close fast enough. His Nezha is like prioritizing farm big time. Like so much so. Oh, if I had only hit him with that three a little bit earlier, he wouldn't have gotten so much of that heal. That sucks. Looks like he's going brawlers. That's okay. I have so much gold because neither of us have backed in so long. All right. You know, if we're going after all the buffs, he's not that far ahead of me. Uh, let's go. Let's go. You know what? Maybe Thoth. Maybe Thoth. Thoth's better to start on Sobek if you want to go it, uh, just to rush it. But I, I have a feeling this game's going to be maybe a little bit long, and I kind of want that scaling. I don't think I'll go Tablet Destiny, though. Although Tablet Destiny is pretty good on Sobek. From what I've tried, Book of Thoth, Tablet Destiny, pretty good. Because all my bill is damage, of course. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I wanted to hit him and the wave. So. <gasps> Ooh. 
Oh, my three didn't go off. I mean, even if it did, I would have died there anyways. That kind of sucks. Actually, I'm actually hmm, hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. Nah, maybe it is too late for that. Maybe it is too late. I'm going to lose tower and then he might take obje uh, objective soon. I don't want to be be sitting here with with Phoenix down and I have like 10 stacks on Book of Oath. So instead, we'll go an early poly, which is what most people want me to build. <laughs> and I don't like building poly too early. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's a good item and plus now I have a lot of lifestyle I could go into Typhons if I really wanted to he he uh, oh he didn't even go brawlers I thought he went brawlers he went Jotuns oh he's going for my blue again <laughs> he doesn't have any defense so he's, he's actually kind of surprised he's not taking too much damage that's actually one reason why going poly early here is not so bad. Because I don't have any pen, but he doesn't have any... Oh, he doesn't have any defense. Try all. I think I should all. Oh, good steal. Oh my goodness, he healed so much. Dude, I can't catch up to him. Unless. Ah, yield. That was dumb. That's okay. Oh, and then my minions are all the way back here. There, should I even... I think I should just take this with Polly. This Polly is actually turning out to be pretty damn good, though. Because now I'm, I'm getting some serious value out of it. Whereas normally you wouldn't get it too much value out of it this early. Oops. There's no backdoor protection, so I should stay in this tower until this thing's dead. My next item is definitely going to be Divine Ruin. He's probably going to immune this ult. We'll see what happens. Nope, I guess not. Clear the wave and run, because my god, it's not going well for me. All right, I got the tower, defended Demon King. We're doing good, we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. Oh, now he's getting defense. Okay, cool, perfect, perfecto. I'm still tempted to go Typhons. I got the build for Typhons. I got the build for Typhons. I should go it. I keep not using my beats, but I mean, usually he's ulting in like times where I'm like not too worried about things. You know? I should actually not kill these minions so I can heal. There we go. My, uh, my blue buff's about to come up, so let's go take that since he's stolen it or tried to steal it almost this entire game. That'll, that'll get him a little flustered when he comes over here and sees I actually took it for once. Last item I could go. Hmm. Let me think. Against Neja. I, I think I just need more power. Like, maybe even a rod. Rod to Hootie. I mean, it would be nice to get a little bit more cooldown. <laughs> Made it look like I was going towards the minions to clear. The only thing is he, he heals so much when he's away from me too. 
Oh, dude, you gotta stop ulting me when I'm full HP. It doesn't work out for you, man. Oh. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good kills. He is like... He is so so the thing about this matchup is that Nezha, I don't think he's done it once yet, but when I ult and it's getting towards the end of my ult, he can sash me so that he doesn't take any damage, but he keeps missing it, unfortunately for him. Now of course I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to move a little bit of my ult so that it, it's a little hard to hit. Uh but uh, I mean he's going for it a handful of times. And then it's also it's not obvious when I'm gonna, you know, ult. Because I could just not do it right away. Oh, I should have beat this that time. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. That was a huge mistake. I might die here unless I get beat over this wall. Or blink, I mean. Cool. I've used my beads like a few times. I, I don't know. I, I just most of the time he's ulting me and I'm not too worried. But also my reaction times are like terrible. I've been able to use it a few times for his sash, which was good. All right, so now I have 449 power. I mean, that's good. That's a good amount of power. Ooh, dodged it and got him around the wall. There it is. There it is. That finally beats that, so nice. All right, anti heal is applied on him. Oh, does it matter? I have Polly at low health. <laughs> low health with Bancroft's Typhons, Polly. My Polly got like so much stronger because I had an insane amount of power. Typhons is a good item, man. Typhons is, is insane. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't upgrade that to Pestilence either. Once he gets both these anti-heal items, I'm going to be life-stealing less. But I, I just have such a large amount of power. I don't think it matters. Let's see, recall. I should have placed my wards. That's fine. His respawn time is not too big yet. Uh, do I want... Call it weird. But I think... I think Staff of Mirrod in here. Because if I initiate with my all. He's kind of stuck and forced to alt out or use his three or something. And then after that, I can hit him with a huge amount of damage just with my poly shot after Staff of Mirrodin. Because I'll have so, so much power. And just the rest of my abilities. I think it'll be fine. I don't build Staff of Mirrodin most of the time because I like saving my alts for when I'm like guaranteed to get a kill. Get oh. I'll be honest, I thought he was taking Demon King. That's why I dashed over there. That's why I used my dash. Oh no, my cat is attacking my cord. <laughs> anti heal him before he heals. I got blink. Nice. <laughs> yeah, my cat started pulling on my mouse cord. I almost, <laughs> I almost uh, was alting and started running the wrong way. Whoops. I mean, he's still attacking the cord, but I think it's fine now that it's not. By surprise. Should be able to get this Phoenix because I have poly. Like two poly shots, maybe three. Good stuff. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy speed. I won't lie, Sobek's like pretty decent. Like out of all the guardians. Like he he is he's he's overall not like when like too too good but the thing about him is he has a lot of good matchups because of his his three there's a lot of scenarios where other guardians would be like oh they, they this is way too hard to win this consistently but you know, so they can so they has some chances 
And his downside is pretty much the his cooldowns, which is too long. Which is why I have full cooldown this game. How much health does he have? 2,400 almost? Oh, he's done. He's done. There's no way out of this. There's no way for him. All of his methods for getting away from me are down. He could use his three here, of course, but use it too early. <laughs> but even if he used it on time, I could back up with my two into my three. And then his sash is down. And then I just kind of chase him with my one. Yeah, when, once he ulted in that fight, it was like pretty much over. So that's my main thing for this Neja is uh should be ulting at different times, but hey, overall good game. Another <laughs> another wood for the Cardi Gauntlet. I wasn't expecting to go this smoothly so far. Like every time I've sat down to record for the Garden Gauntlet, it's, it's been pretty good, so good stuff. <laughs> I'll make sure to show the match stats. Oh, and I gotta pull up the wheel now. Gotta pull up the wheel. We are diamond three. Whoops. Diamond three, that's good. Um here's it. Here it is. Here's the player stats. Here's the scoreboard. Oh, now I'm kinda actually cancer on smite. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't I mean if even if I didn't have poly, if I, let's say I had something else. Like if I did go Book of Thoth, Tablet Destiny, that would be equally as annoying. Except that's true damage. All right, where's... I have it bookmarked. Okay, so... Uh, do I have all the Guardians hidden? Kabrakens hidden? I think so. Yeah, okay. Spin the wheel. All these ads. <laughs> Cthulhu! All right, so Cthulhu will be in the next Guardian in the Guardian Gauntlet. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.